welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm making the super popular money card holder. This project is going around the Cricut community and it is seriously so cool. I wish I knew who originally came up with this idea so that I can give them credit. If anybody knows, let us know in the comments. I thought I would show you how I put it together. I made this graduation card, but you can do this for any occasion such as birthdays, holidays, teacher gifts. First, I'll show you how I put this together in Cricut Design Space. For this project, I'm going to do all of my designing in Cricut Design Space. You can use Canva also. That's another great place to add images and designs. Also, if you don't want to do any part of the designing, there are some templates on places like Etsy that you can purchase as well. These are meant to look like the packaging that gift cards come in. So this is such a cool project. First, I'm going to go over to Shapes. It's really nice that Cricut expanded its shapes. There's quite a few free ones and these are included with Cricut Access. So I'm just gonna grab this one, the rounded square. I am going to make this four inches by five inches. Next, I'm going to go back to my shapes and grab a circle. For the top of it, I'm just going to put a circle here. So I'm going to make this smaller. I'm going to make this a different color so it's easier to see it. I'm going to be using the align tool a lot to make sure everything's centered. So what I'm going to do right now is highlight over both of these. Then I'm going to go up to my align tool and select center horizontally. That will bring that right down the center. While I have both of these layers selected, I am going to select slice. Remember, you can only slice two layers at a time, but that's perfect for this since we only had two layers. So if you're new to slicing, it looks like nothing happened at first, but you can move this out of the way and see that it really did cut that out. So we have two pieces of our circle that we can just delete. I'm using all Cricut Design Space images for this project, so I'm going to go to my images and grab all the ones that I'm going to be using. I can go in and add all of them at the same time. It pulls it down to the bottom right. Okay, so I've already created this design before filming, so I knew which images I wanted to pull up. So now I'm going to add all of these to the canvas. What a lot of people are doing is putting a shape here and then they're putting the dollar amount that is in the card. So what you can do is go to shapes and in Cricut Design Space, there's one that looks good for that. So you could bring this over here make it smaller, and then type in whatever number you want, which would look really cute. But I also found this image in Cricut Design Space, so I decided to use that one instead. So I'm going to delete that. I am going to make this smaller. I'm just gonna rotate it a little bit also. Now I'm going to add for the graduate, you can get so creative with these. You can really do whatever you want to. I thought it would be fun to add a couple little quotes in here. You can grab your text and type anything you want also, but I just decided to grab these because it matches really well. Next, I'm going to grab another shape. I'm going to grab this rounded rectangle. This is gonna be where the rolled money is going to lay. So I am going to bring this down here. I bought chapstick at the Dollar Tree and it has a clear packaging over it and that's what I'm using to hold the money in. I just measured that size. It was 2.75 for the width. 
by 0.75 for the height. Depending on where you find this clear packaging, it might vary just a little bit with the sizing. So you'll just wanna take a tape measure and measure it. Now I'm just gonna move this up a little bit. I'm going to add my hooray down here. Now I'm just gonna add my money sign. I just hit the duplicate button so I can bring this one over here. I do wanna change a couple of the colors. For the $20, I wanna make that the same color as graduate. And it looks like we have a few different browns in here. I'm gonna see which one I like the best. Okay, I like the lighter tan. At first I wasn't sure why we have different tans, but it's because of the tassel on the graduation cap. This one I'll play around with what color I want to make this. I kind of like the lighter color. You won't really be able to see this because the rolled money will be on top of it, so it doesn't really matter what color you, you use. Also, this is just one way to make it. Some other people are putting a back to these and they duplicate this. And you can do that as well. You can copy this and put something on the back of the card and then just tape it or glue it together. But I am just doing one sheet. I'm going to be doing print then cut, so you can also put a picture on there of a family member or whatever you want to do. Now I'm just gonna size all of this. I want for the graduate right in the center, so I am going to copy over here. I have my background and for the graduate selected. I'll come up here and align center horizontally. Now I wanna make sure all three of these are centered on my design. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to select all three of these. I'm just hitting shift on my keyboard as I select these. When you look over at the layers panel, you can see all three of these are selected. So now you can see these are not lined up at all. To line these up, I'll go back to my align tool and I am going to want to distribute these horizontally and vertically. So first I'm going to select distribute horizontally. Now you can see my money symbols. This one's higher than the other one. So I'm just going to select distribute vertically and it'll bring that money sign down. Now the only thing with this is we don't know if it's exactly in center. So now that we have all three of these lined up, I am going to group them together. I am going to select over these. If you look in the layer panel, you can see I have that this is grouped together and then I have my background. Now I'm going to go back up and select align center horizontally. If you watch it, it'll go right to the center. It moved it just a little bit to the right. So that's a lot with the align tool. I really hope that all of that made sense. Okay, so I think that looks good. Now, since we're doing print and cut, I need to flatten this entire thing together. So I am just gonna highlight over the whole thing. I could go up and change it to print and cut, but we want it all to be flattened. So I am just gonna come down here and select flatten. You can see it looks a little different. When you look in the layers panel, you can just see one layer. So that's one of the most important steps is just to make sure you flatten every single layer. You want to just see one layer in the layers panel. All right, now I'm ready to click make it. Then I'll select continue. I am going to send a printer. I'm using my inkjet printer. I'm gonna leave the blade option on. I pretty much always do. And you can see what it does here. It extends the ink slightly beyond the border of the image to eliminate a white margin once the image is cut. So essentially it just gives it a more accurate cut. I hear so many people suggesting to turn the bleed off. It actually helps get accurate cuts, so I always leave it on. You'll also want to select Use System Dialog, and I'll select Print. Here's the print settings. This part I always go to also, because for some reason it goes automatically to normal, and you'll want to switch it to Best. Then I will select Print. I'm using an Epson Workforce. Also, please don't judge me for how dusty this is. For this project, I would recommend using 110 pound heavy cardstock, 
but I did not have any on hand, so I am using 65 pound cardstock, I'm pretty sure. For that setting, I'm just going to select medium cardstock. Here's what it looks like after it's printed out. I place it on my green standard grip mat. I like to use my brayer tool to press it down just so that I don't smudge any of the ink. Then I load this into the Cricut machine. First, it'll read those black registration lines. After it's done doing that, it'll cut it out. To remove the paper from the mat, bend the mat backwards so you don't bend it at all. I found chapstick at the Dollar Tree to use for my clear piece, and when I was checking out, the gal at the counter seemed a little confused why I was buying something Christmassy, and she even said that she was surprised they still had Christmas stuff, but it's perfect for crafters. When you remove this, it'll have part of the packaging around the outside of it, but using acetone nail polish remover takes it off really well. I just grab a paper towel and soak that with the nail polish remover, and it does take a little bit of scraping. If you're wanting to make a lot of these, especially if you want to sell these, the clear containers can be very hard to find. I believe they sell them on Amazon, but I've heard that they are sold out because this project is so popular. But you can buy some on Etsy. I believe it might be just a little bit cheaper than trying to find them at like the Dollar Tree. I can leave a link down below for the Etsy containers. I decided to use double-sided tape to tape this down onto the card. You can use whatever adhesive you want. You can use glue. I have problems with glue, glue for some reason, so I just figured tape would be easier for me. And I just cut it in half so that it would fit right along the edge of the clear container. I'm a little late posting this since quite a few kids have already graduated, even though we do have a family member that is having a graduation party soon. Here's what the tape looks like. I love how it's clear so you just can't see it at all. Now I'm ready to roll up my $20 bill and when I placed it in the clear container I made sure that the 20 was showing on the top. I line it up over that rectangle and press down the tape so that it is nice and secure. Once again, here's how it looks. I just can't get over how cute this is. It is just such a fun idea, and I hope that this tutorial helped you out. I had some messages of people asking me how to make it, so let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Let me know if you've made these already, and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I would love to have you here. It's completely free.